Howdy, I'm Mikey Diaz. This year, over the span of 30 episodes, the people at Transcript have produced over seven hours of footage. A truly amazing feat. Nice. In other news... For months, In Other News has been an outlet for me to share exciting events with the good people of Northampton High School, but sometimes finding good content to, to talk about can be difficult. I try to cover cultural events, not issues, because sometimes it's nice to hear some good news every once in a while. But this week, I was stumped. Hey, Meghan Markle's off the market. Why don't you cover the royal wedding? Oh, you mean like this? It was in November 2017 that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their engagement. And finally, last Saturday, the two were wedded. The service was held at St. George's Chapel, breaking tradition by having it on a Saturday, as most royal weddings happen during the week. This is a very important event. Check out some NHS student responses. It was neat because the royal family, I think that the like inside drama of it was sick. Uh, I really liked how the, uh, the pastor was very energetic. It was really lively and it brought a nice sense of spirit to it, which was fun. What are you doing? Editing? I'm trying to figure out what to cover this week. What do you mean, this week? Yeah, I know it's Friday morning, but I don't have anything to talk about. <gasps> you gotta do it now? Um, I don't know. Uh, horse racing. Isn't that, didn't that happen? Oh, you mean like this? On May 5th, Justify the Horse won the Kentucky Derby. Two weeks later, Justify narrowly won the Preakness Stakes, keeping his bid for the Triple Crown alive. If he wins the Belmont Stakes, the Colt will become the 13th horse of all time to win the title. With the nationwide legalization of sports betting, payouts for the June 9th race are expected to be at an all-time high. Let's take a look at some highlights. On February 6, 2018, aerospace company SpaceX launched their Falcon Heavy rocket five years after the intended launch date. The rocket can lift nearly 64 metric tons into space and is considered to be the most powerful vehicle in the world by many standards. We can now send heavy objects into space at a much cheaper cost and more frequently. These innovations make the prospect of interplanetary colonization that much more feasible. Here at the NHS tech branch of SpaceX, we decided to take this rocket, the Transcript X-1, out for a spin. Sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank the following people for helping me put up new content every week. Elena Fragamini, Jarrett Smith, Jeremy Whalen, Ryan Parent, and Brian Lombardi, as well as everybody that I had the pleasure of interviewing this semester, including my entire Transcript family. Thanks for watching and other news. I'm Mikey Diaz. Good night and good luck.